In recent times, there's been a lot of publicity about CBD oil. Last year, the Minister for Health allowed access to certain medical cannabis products under strictly controlled conditions. But these are separate to the CBD oils we find on shop shelves, which are sold as a food supplement, not as a medicine. CBD oil is derived from cannabis plants, including hemp, but it has little or no tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, which is the psychoactive element of cannabis. If ever you've tried CBD oil, the chances are that it did not come from Ireland, it was imported from somewhere else in the world. But I'm standing here in a field in Wicklow with the hemp plant, and this is where CBD oil comes from. And Irish farmers are beginning to see the potential of hemp in their fields. The fascinating thing about the hemp plant is that CBD is just a tiny part of the potential products that come off it. Ed Hanbidge is from Kiltegan. He's one of 72 farmers across Ireland growing hemp. I visited his farm last September when his 40 acre organic crop was nearly ready to be harvested. Ed, the overwhelming sense I get in this field is the smell. Yeah, 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 it is strong, isn't it? It is a very strong smell. So that's, that's the other thing is my hands are very sticky yeah, from holding the plant. Absolutely, yeah. and you'll, you'll, if you uh, press those heads, the, you'll, you'll feel it really sticky on your, on your fingers. And that's where those compounds are, your CBD. There's 114 different uh, cannabinoids on the plant, and it's all of those are there in, in, in those trichomes. It's a, it's a whole world. This is Ed's fourth year growing hemp. He first heard about it when he was in college 12 years ago, and he decided back then that he would try to make a business from it. It was a crop, I had the farm, I could grow it. And breaking the news to your dad, who spent his life in sheep and cattle, yeah, yeah. that you were going to come back, turn part of the farm organic, and then start growing hemp. What did he say? Uh, as long as it makes money, <laughs> more or less, was the, the answer I got. He knew nothing about it. You know, cannabis was what he knew, and cannabis was a drug, and oh, Stay away from, from that. Farmers have grown hemp in Ireland for over 800 years, but it's now classed as a controlled drug, and since 1997, you must have a license if you want to grow it. But the hemp grown here has much lower concentrations of THC, that psychoactive part of the plant, than those found in other cannabis varieties. This is still cannabis. The difference is the ratios of those compounds. What you'd be smoking on the streets can have anywhere from 10% uh, up to really strong being 30 maybe, and whereas this can only have 0.2% THC. That's the limit. What is the product that you can get out of hemp? Hmm, there's no one answer for that question. You have the, the stalk, which is your fibre part. You have your shiv on the inside. So the shiv can be used for building or bedding. Shiv? Yeah, okay. shiv. Then the outside is, is your what? Is your bast fibre. So that can go for your insulation for your house. It can go for your carpets for your house. But those fibres are also used for your textiles, uh, for clothes and for the traditional one with the rope. It's very, very strong. The seeds of the hemp plant can be eaten whole, but it's their high oil content that Ed is most interested in. That seed is 30% oil, so it can go on your salad, uh, pestos, hummus, uh, I take it just straight. And then on the outside of where the seed is being, you can see the, the little crystals. Just here? Yeah, yes. so that is your, where the cannabinoids are. And it's those cannabinoids that can go in as a food supplement, say for your CBD. Ed's harvest this year is going to a company called Greenheart CBD, which is owned by Mark Canavan and Paul Walsh. Like, look at this. In, um the amount of terps and yeah. Yeah. cannabinoids there, yeah, savage. As well as processing the crop for sale, they keep a very close eye on it during the growing season. You brought your drone with you, and I want to have a look at it because it's got some particularly interesting technology. Can I touch it? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Go ahead. It's pretty, pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but show me this now. We turn it upside down. Uh, What's this here? Yeah, so these are the full spectrum sensors. So what they do when the, fl when the drone is flying across the field, they will actually scan the crop and they relay all the data back to us. So then we can determine the health of the crop and so on. 
through collecting all this data, we're able to relay it back to the customer so they have all the information and it's fully transparent. And obviously, because we're dealing with hemp, the state authorities are also pretty concerned mm -hmm. about making sure that everything is done correctly. Is that right? Exactly. So we are able to be fully compliant and show them all the data that we're collecting from the plants themselves. And when we harvest and move the plants, we're able to show them exactly where they're going. Because the variety of hemp Ed is growing is a dwarf species, it can be harvested using a conventional combine. The seeds are separated and pressed to make organic hemp oil. Creating the CBD oil involves adding the remainder of the plant. So what we have here is the milled hemp. So this is the rest of the plant, which is dried and milled on the farm. We then press this separately, and then we mix the oil from this with the hemp seed oil at certain ratios, depending on the strength of the CBD oil that you're looking for at the end. The buzz around hemp is mainly around CBD, and the worldwide market for this is growing at an enormous rate. But because hemp is seen as an environmentally friendly alternative to mainstream products used in things like insulation and construction, this also offers major potential. Where are the difficulties in terms of, of making money from this crop? Yeah, it's phenomenal, Ella. In the last year, the acres have trebled in this country. There's a lot of interest in farmers growing it, but I would urge a bit of caution in relation to that because it's going to require some infrastructure for all, that, all of that to happen, for CBD to be extracted, to get food grade quality material that can be utilised and marketed and exported all over the world. That'll be important that we are producing this to a food grade quality. So infrastructure will be necessary there. Also, in terms of the fibres, to separate out those fibres and produce the insulation material, the shivs, the herds for hempcrete or hemp lime. If we were to utilise that, we need a plant to separate out the fibres. And for that to happen, we probably need 10, 15 of those plants dotted strategically across the country where farmers can take the product into uh, to allow those fibres to be separated. What would be the potential, if you could sort these problems out, what would be the potential profit per acre? And we can use every bit of the plant. You could be looking upwards of 10,000 an acre. Because there's a demand for the CBDs there, and that's uh, an expensive product. So every farmer watching, their jaw is on the floor, 10,000 an acre. Yeah, but now uh, it's very different talking about it and actually getting it. <laughs> very different. I haven't seen any of that kind of money into my account yet because I'm still at the bottom rung of the ladder.